Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I get to share with you a project using the Hero Arts and Joanne.com's uh, Make Yourself at Home kit for January 2021. This is what the kit looks like and um, fortunately I have good news and bad news. The kit from Joanne.com, this is an exclusive kit, had sold out so fast, my goodness. Um, so there's, they're no longer available at Joanne.com. So this is more for inspiration. Um, inspirational projects but I want to share with you what was in the kit and the good news is I can actually link to the product that I'm using. Um, Hero Art sells these individually so that makes it great including um, some of the cardstock. The only thing that I don't think I can find may be the embossing powder and then also there's this really pretty this color rosy pearly color cardstock I don't know if Hero Arts sells that um, individually or not but the rest I can link so if you guys are um, interested in the products um, it'll be listed down below but you get lots of cardstock four different colors they're five and a half by eight and a half inch panels you get three of each and um, you also get a cover plate die. This is pretty fabulous. I love it. It is called the Heart Confetti Fancy Die and it creates a card front panel and it die cuts out lots of different sizes of hearts. And then you get a 4x6 stamp set. This is the Floral Love and then there's some coordinating frame cuts that will cut out the love and the heart in your stamp set. You get two mini ink cubes in some fabulous colors. You have Soft Granite, and Rose Matter. I'm going to swatch them out so you guys can see what they look like. But if you're looking for a nice gray ink, the char soft granite is really nice. Um, and then the Rose Matter is real pretty, really pretty rosy color. Almost a corally rose, real pretty. Um, so those are the ink cubes. You also get some beautiful embossing silver sparkle powder. Um, I'm going to swatch this out as well. It's basically silver embossing powder, but you have that extra sparkle, um, kind of like diamondy look um, embedded in that silver. So that's really nice. Also included is a full size bottle. These are one ounce bottles of some shimmer mist. Um, this color here is pink metallic mist. And I'm going to just spray this and show you how pretty it is. Um, the color of this is really soft pink. It looks kind of bold, but it pulls back a little bit. And then it has that soft, frosty, uh, pearly look to it. So that is your mist this month in the Make Yourself at Home um, card kit. So let's jump in and create some projects using this. And again, um, the stamp set and the cardstock and the inks, um, I'll list down below if you guys want to check it out. Now, for my first card, it's going to be pretty easy, but we're going to do a lot of die cutting. I love the little hearts in here. And so I have the red cardstock, which is, I believe is Hero Hues Cherry. And then the pink, I believe is Peony in the Hero Hues color. And then I also, instead of using the gray cardstock, the pebble, I brought in Hero Hues lavender cardstock. Um, we're gonna switch it out and create um, more of a um, girly Valentine, I should say, with that purple. <laughs> and I'm gonna run everything through my die cut machine and then keep the hearts and get rid of the, um, the positive pieces. Um, all but the white. I'm going to take my white background panel and adhere it to my lavender cardstock. And again, this is the card front panel, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm going to take this and directly adhere it to my card base, which is the same size. And this was really easy to die cut out too, guys. Um, tap, um, tap your cover plate die on your on your craft desk, and. Um, a lot of the little hearts come out and then I just scoop them up and put them in my little dishes. Now I thought it'd be fun to create a shaker card, but I wanted to be really full. So I created a little photo frame. It's easy to do. Just use a rectangle die and a square die. Um, I'm going to add adhesive behind the back side and then put a piece of acetate on the reverse side of my little photo frame. And then we're going to flip it around. Uh, well, you know what? Let's stamp our sentiment, sentiment before we add foam adhesive. I always want to add foam tape and then stamp, but we're going to do it the right way. <laughs> we're going to stamp hello a little bit towards the right. 
and then we'll flip it around and add foam adhesive and i'm using my hero arts intense black ink now if you wanted to switch out the lavender cardstock i used and go for the gray um, i suggest using the soft granite to stamp that hello but i wanted a little bit more bold sentiment that's why i brought in my hero arts intense black ink but i'm gonna go crazy and fill in my it's a pretty small photo frame um, but i'm gonna fill it in pretty good so it's not really going to shake, but it's going to have all these confetti pieces on the inside. And I'm as I'm adding the small hearts to it, I'm kind of stirring it with my finger. Um, this way I, I get don't have chunks of color. Um, I have a little bit of a, a nice spread out color background. <laughs> and I think that's going to do it. It's pretty packed. <laughs> and... I have a back um, piece of cardstock that we're going to put right behind our photo frame. We'll just tack that down. And I loved, loved the way this turned out, guys. It is so filled in there. And that confetti just stands out. And I think it's going to look perfect on that soft purple background. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flip over my photo frame, add some adhesive behind it. For the most part, this card's pretty simple. But this is going to go right in the center. And then we'll tack that down. I'm gonna finish this card off with some red and white Baker's twine. I just put it at the top of my card base. This is the top folding card base. And then I'm gonna keep the tails of my bow a little bit long so they kind of trail down. And then that is card number one. Pretty fun card. And it could be great for any occasion too. <laughs> Now for my next card, I have three different pieces of cardstock. We have the peony, we have that rosy pearl, and we have the red. Basically, I trimmed, this is the peony. I'm going to adhere that to my card base, and this is the card front panel. Now that rosy, shimmer, pearly colored cardstock, I trimmed down a half, a quarter of an inch. So we're going to basically mat this on the pink that I want to do the same exact thing with my cherry cardstock. So this is going to be um, a half inch shorter than my pearly pink. So we're kind of graduating our matte. I just wanted some extra color in the background. Now I did trim down another piece of that cherry cardstock. I'm going to bring in my nesting tag dies and I wanted to create a reinforcement for a banner we're going to create. So the nesting tag dies has this perfect reinforcement. I'm going to die cut that out with the red cardstock. And then I'm going to take the frame cut from my floral heart stamp set. This die cuts out that beautiful floral um, in the stamp. I'm going to create a window in this panel. And then this panel is slightly smaller than my red cardstock. We'll just tack that down and run that through with the die cutting machine. Okay, you can see this is a little bit smaller than that red cardstock. Now I have a half inch strip of white cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive behind my reinforcement and then fold it over. There's no hole in that half inch cardstock, so I'm going to bring in my crop a dial. I'm going to punch a hole. Um, and then we're going to add some baker's twine. Before we do that, we're going to stamp to my, using my black ink here, and then I'll fishtail the end on the, the right side, and then we kind of created a long banner. And that's good to go. We're going to punch that hole, and I have some pink and white baker's twine I'm going to thread through, and then I'll flip this around, and we'll add some foam adhesive behind this. I'm just going to trim down a, a thin strip, put this behind our sentiment, and our sentiment is good to go. Now I also, you can see I have lots of strips of those four colors that we've been using. The peony, the, the pearlescent rose color, red is cherry, and then also the lilac. Um, they're all quarter inch strips, and I, I, I'm taking a real thin piece of cardstock and adding adhesive behind it. I'm just making sure, using my negative heart, that um, I have enough adhesive um, for all these strips. And I'm just gonna create a colorful background. 
with the colored cardstock in the kit this month. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go diagonal or straight or vertical, so I opted for horizontal. So I'm just filling in all these open areas, making sure that that cardstock will cover my heart and it looks like it will. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my panel. I trimmed it down so I could fit it in my Misty. And I'm taking my floral heart and then we're gonna ink it up with um, my watermark ink. And then I did treat my paper with my anti-static powder tool. This is important. And also when you, when you do this and you're going to heat emboss, I suggest really getting um, those strips as close as you can together because if your adhesive shows through, you're going to get embossing powder everywhere. <laughs> but I'm covering it with white embossing powder. And again, if you were going to go with that the, the gray silver theme, I'd say maybe go with your silver sparkle embossing powder. I think that would look nice. But I melted that embossing powder and it really did fill up that background. Um, with that beautiful floral. Um, next, I went ahead and popped up my, my frame and then I inserted my embossed floral on the inside of that heart. And now, so it's recessed, um, I'll remove the release paper off of my tag and I'm gonna just place it at a diagonal and then tack that down and then I'm gonna tie a bow with my pink and white baker's twine had a little color there. Now I thought my panel, um, that floral heart is beautiful and it really shines through. Um, but I thought with that white frame, we needed some extra color behind there. So in the stamp set, there's these cute little bumblebee. I stamped it three times and then I, instead of coloring it with traditional bumblebee colors, I used red and pink Copic markers. And then I just used the coordinating frame cut to cut it out and I popped them up and added that to my card as well. But that is card number two, something a little bit different. I think that'd be a great masculine card. For my final card today, I have those same three strips of colored cardstock, and we are gonna stamp and heat emboss um, the word love on each one of these. I wanna arrange this how I want the love to go, and I think I want my purple first, and that's gonna be a little bit more balanced for me. Um, we'll take the E first, and then I'll stamp, ink that up with my watermark ink, and then we'll stamp that on the very end on that rosy, pearly color. And I think I got a little heavy handed, so we might need to restamp this. <laughs> Let's add some embossing powder and see how we did. Yeah, I think I need to restamp that. I got a little, I got a little muddled. <laughs> we'll ink it up one more time and stamp again, and then. I'll go over it with my white embossing powder and we're gonna melt all of these at once. So we'll just continue with our next letter, which will be our V on our peony, and then our O on our cherry, and then our L on our lavender. And I think I need to stamp L one more time. And I'm gonna melt all of these at once. It just makes it easier. And after everything is melted, I did go ahead and stamp one more of my O's. Um, my bottom one wasn't metal, I just didn't stamp um, as well as I should have. So I, that's the best thing you can restamp. But I'll take the coordinating frame cut letters and die cut out each one of my, um, my letters. Just lining them up is easy. There's actually little notches on here that makes it very easy to line up. So we'll run all of these through our die cut machine. And while we're at it, I'm gonna take the same love frame cuts and cut out um, the love with white cardstock. And then I also cut it out with some foam adhesive that has adhesive back to it. This way um, I can add a little dimension to my card. Now this is a card front panel that measures four, inch, four and a quarter inches by five and a half. I'm gonna take this to my paper trimmer and trim off one inch scoot my panel down to the two inch mark, and then we're gonna tr trim away that one and a quarter inch piece that we don't need. Um, so we have a two inch strip by five and a half inch strip, and then one inch strip by five and a half inch strip. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my card base, but for this card, instead of doing a top fold card, I created a side fold card. And I'm gonna put this in my paper trimmer, and at the score mark, I'm gonna trim it off at the two inch mark. There's a method to my madness, bear with me. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that white die cut love, and I'm gonna add just a thin bead of glue at the very top of the L, and I'm gonna attach that to the very cut line of my card base, okay? At the two inch mark, you can see here. Um, I already kind of evenly spaced them so I know it would fit. Um, and basically you're just gonna add your L, O, V, and the E. And it's, it's probably just about a quarter of an inch if that, that's hanging over um, my card base, guys. Just making sure they're nice and straight. Okay, once we have this done, we're gonna flip it around. I'm gonna go ahead and add glue on the bottom portion of my letters. So on the E, the V, the O, and the L. And then I'll take that one inch strip. Now, hindsight, I suggest maybe putting a piece of cards, um, white scratch paper in here to do this part. Um, and I'll show you why in just a minute. But I'm putting that into the bottom of my card base, flipping over my love, and I'm pressing down so the bottom of my love is attached to that one inch strip. Now, I see this is where your scratch paper would have came in. Um, I have some glue that's attached to the inside of my card base, but I just used my sand eraser and it came right up. So we have love. And I love the way this turned out. I thought it looked pretty pretty cool having that little open window on my card base. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bone folder and reinforce my um, score line. Now these two pieces, I'm gonna do a little ink blending. I just have my blending tool and I'm gonna add a little bit of color on my two inch strip. I'm gonna add it to the very top, intensifying that line with my Rose Matter ink. And I'm just adding a little color, kind of fading out a bit, and then keeping the rest white. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with that bottom one inch strip. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in my my little spray box, and we're gonna take our uh, shimmer, shimmer mist. I'm gonna shake it up really good, and we're gonna add some color by doing a couple sprays um, on our background here. Okay, the, and this stuff dries really fast, guys. Now, once we have a little shimmer added to our little panel, I'm gonna flip over the bottom one inch strip, add some adhesive behind it, this is gonna go on the very bottom. Basically, we're gonna sandwich our um, die cut love letters between. So this is gonna go right over the top. It looks like that was a good match. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing with our top um, panel. Add that to the top corner. And I think I need to trim off the left side here. It's overhanging just a little bit more than I want it. You just use my scissors. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna tack down my card clip. It's, I use pretty thick cardstock, and so it wants to keep opening. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the die cut foam pieces, they're adhesive back, so I'm just gonna remove the release paper and add those uh, foam letters right over the existing white ones. And they line up again. It's really easy because there's little notches where the flowers are, um, and they line up really nice. Now, before we add our um, colored card stock letters, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the rest of my sentiment. We're gonna stamp let, just above the L and the O, and I'm using my same intense black ink here. And then I'm gonna take the grow, we'll pick that up with the acrylic block, and I'll stamp that just below the V and the E. So our sentiment will read, let love grow. Lovely. Now I'm gonna remove the release paper off of my my foam, and then all we have to do is add our colored cardstock. Just line them up, and then we have a little bit of dimension and a lot more color, and those florals are really pretty. 
Now I'm just gonna finish off adding my love letters and then we're gonna put some of those heart confetti pieces that we have lots of um, leftover pieces um, and add them as embellishments to our card today. And then that will finish off card number three with the Hero Arts Make Your Hero Arts Joanne.coms. It's exclusive to Joanne.com, guys. It's the Make Yourself at Home card making kit. And they usually become available the first Thursday of the month. So head on over there, check it out on February, um, the first Thursday of February, because um, I think you're going to like them. It's a great value. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. We will see you again soon. Bye bye.